girlfriend. Cut. And If y'all don't like my last video, oh wait, I'm just telling you what the fuck I've been through. <laughs> and how God got me through all that. Every breath, every heartbeat, every left, right movement, man. Jesus is love, okay? I basically got a quick message to remind y'all what led to me having to understand I have to walk alone with Christ in order to do what I need to do to save those around me, wherever I'm at. All right, so when I'm a little child, right, and you got grown folk talking, if if you are when you're a little child, you 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 try to hear as much as you can, and if they if they say, "Are you listening?" Just make sure you pay attention when they ask you, "Are you listening to them?" So that means you got the you got the right to listen. You know what I'm saying? Not be nosy, cause I'm not a nosy person. I'm not. Yeah. I be too busy focused on my dreams. My big dreams I be trying to accomplish. You feel me? And so, my uncles, my aunts, my grandparents, all the elders, they gave me advice. And they gave me good advice. Okay? And, and when I left my elders, I would be around my peers. Now, when I got around my peers, the only thing I was learning about them is that they were rebellious to what the, the elders were teaching. I'm not knocking what some of these elders did wrong to them. I'm not knocking that. What I'm saying is they could have took something out of what they were saying and make it productive for their life. You know what I'm saying? But, like I said, I had to be around... Uh, Six, seven years old. And I kept hearing grown men talk about money. Money, 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 this, money, that, money. And one time I heard a group of men bragging about money so much, I heard this statement over and over again growing up. These motherfuckers were bragging about that. Their money tastes better than pussy. And I'm like, no, pussy is way better than paper cuts. Idolatry tree and disrespectful to God's creation, right, man. So when I heard men kept saying their money is better than pussy, I looked at them like, see, that's that gay ass shit right there. I don't need to be around, you feel me? And from that day forward, I knew, I knew I was around pedophiles. I knew it, and I knew it, and so I asked God, please don't let me get fucked. Please, I'm begging you. Man. They already tried me since I was a since I was a baby, man. Like you, you you can just sense things are not right, and but yeah, you keep praying to God, He protects you through that, and He do, man. He do, He do. Being molested or almost molested ain't no joke, bro. That can take the life out of you if you don't have Christ Jesus, man. You got to know how to defend yourself quickly and ward off that, that, that man or monster trying to manhandle you at a little age, man. And you just a tender, innocent child. So, yeah, when I heard that statement, I looked at the women hating on me. I'm like, I'm trying to save your dumb ass from these pedophiles and rapists you about to get into. And they sitting there talking down on me. Like, I did something wrong to them, no? No, I, I, I'm i just not pressed to be around evil and wicked, man. You just made it clear, man. When a woman don't take submission to God's order, she fuck up her life, man. And so, like I said, man, I had to find a way to keep myself away from that shit. Because when grown men talk about money more than taking care of a woman the correct way you're supposed to, which is being a love maker, 24 seven. Not being demonic, playing satanic games with the women. That's not what God created her for. He created her to build a family with. Nothing less, nothing less than that. So all these women out here that's not in, in family orientation, you need to get back to Christ Jesus so he can put you in that position 
and get the glory out of your life. Yeah. Point blank, period. Anytime you hear men talk about that their money more better than pussy, something like curse that thought of making more piece of shit out and, and, and tell them, man, leave me alone. Go on about your business, bro. Now, mind you, I'm a little child hearing this shit over and over as I'm growing up. You know? like, y'all treat women like shit, and y'all killing them off. Y'all murdering these life givers, dog. They murdering them, dog. And they got the nerve to talk down on me trying to save that dumb ass from the murder, from the rape, from the, my child molestation, bro. And they keep hiding that shit, covering that. It's one thing to do it in the church, but it's another thing to do it out in the world and you coming in the church with it, bro. That's the question, bro. That's why y'all know that, man. That's why I don't be trying to hear about that money. I'm not a businessman. I'm a family man. Let me make that. Let me say it again. I'm not a businessman. I'm a family man. So before you come to me about any kind of business, nope, I don't want it. I'm about building my family. You understand? All right. Them faggots and them shit, they done fucked up everything. I don't want shit to do with idolatry, dog. I don't want shit to do with chasing that paper, man. I chase my dream. I do I do what God blessed me to do. His work. And it ain't got nothing to do with material. Nothing to do with material. It's spiritual all the way around. Taking care of those things. Your natural and your material. If you don't have the spiritual first, you don't need that material or, or with taking care of your natural either because you need spiritual first. Huh? We are able to live and breathe because of the spirit of life. Yeah. Nothing less. You cannot live and breathe without the spirit of life. The creator of all creation. Yeah. So that's my quick message for now. Yeah. Tell these children out here, Listen and pay attention to these evil and wickedness. And when you see it, shun it. Call it out in Jesus Christ's name. Don't waste no time, man. Be smart by seeking God first, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit to guide you and take whatever that coming at you. Make it obey the word and the will of God for your life, man. So you can save yourself and those around you. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. I'm going to give out to y'all in a few minutes. Good. Got another video. One live in peace. G first. And another. Good.